परम सुखद केवल ज्ञानमूर्ति द्वंदातीत त्रिगुणरहित तत्समस्यामचल साक्षीहुत भावातीत गगन सदृश सद्गुर तम नमा बाय द ग्रेस ऑफ द सच्चिदानंद परमात्मा विच इज द मास्टर ऑफ अनकाउंटेबल गैलेक्सीज एंड द बिलियंस ऑफ द यूनिवर्सेस वी आर टेकिंग द नाइन वर्ष ऑफ श्रीमद भगवत गीता अन्य च बहवाशूरा मदर्थे वक्त जीविता नानाश्रस्त प्रहारण सर्वे युद्ध विशारदा अन्य च बहवाशूरा मदर्थे वक्त जीविता नाना शस्त्र प्रहारण सर्वे युद्ध विशारद अन्य एंड अदर्स वहवा मैनी शूरा वॉरियर्स मदर थे फॉर मी त्यक्त जीविता दे कैन सेक्रीफाइस देअर लाइफ फॉर मी नाना डिफरेंट डिफरेंट शस्त्र वेपन्स प्रहारणा दे कैन यूज द मेनी मेनी वेपन्स अगेन द एनिमी सर्वे युद्ध विशारदा ऑल आर द स्किलफुल फाइटर इन द बैटल दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस स्टेन माई डियर फ्रेंड वी आर टेकिंग the secret meaning of this stanza meaning has three types one is the worldly meaning second is the meaning which is the indication or teaching and third is the secret meaning the secret including in the meaning my dear friend in this verse the duryodhan with the representative of ego is telling to his army general mr drona acharya he is telling that i have many more warriors i have only given the name of krapacharya vishma karna samitin jaya i have name given the name of uh, other other persons they are men but all of you knows that at the time of the mahabharata there was a huge army of the kauravas more than 18 million soldiers as the mahabharata says 18 akshuni sena 18 akshuni army my dear friend it is not possible to describe everyone because when the battle is going on we can describe only the 
जनरल्स नेम कर्नल्स नेम ब्रिगेडियर्स नेम but we cannot describe the soldier's name or we cannot describe the troop leader's name in the sense of the internal battle of the mahabharata the ego knows that no buried at all the jiva cannot be reached up to the goal of atma gyana in supreme enlightenment because he already defeated in millions of the birth by me i was the controller of this jiva and i occupy all the capacity strength and the consciousness of jiva myself so he is always winner and jiva is always loser because the ego knows that a nature bahava shura he has a many many more and more generals and captains and the brigadiers in his army the the ego knows that uh, that jiva will defeated by me by mil millions of the birth millions of the birth jivas were defeated by me and more internal contradictory conditions and internal drawbacks and internal side of the army of the ego that is uh, ready to crush the jiva that is ready to pull down the jiva and that army is a well experiment experienced the army and that army has a good tricks and the conspiracies and the uh, skills uh, and the cleverness and the network uh, to pull down this jiva again in unconsciousness of maya so not only the defender of the jiva uh, or defender of the ego but the attacker from the jiva, from the ego on the jiva there is uh, many many more the rajoguna the satoguna the tamoguna different type of circumstantial opposite side conditions uh, they have the inner side so the kabir said in the verse maya maha thagni ham jani maya is a great cheater of the world and the maya comes by the ego ego is the user of the maya and maya is the co related with the ego because if there were is no ego the maya cannot get any platform of working so the sadguru want to destroy your ego and you want to save your ego my dear friends anecha bahava shura it means other many many warriors ego have duryodhan have and what is the what is the ego the warriors the warriors is the sat is the tamoguni what if you are not ready to coming in the trap of the maya the maya will provide you a very beautiful woman 
and you will be caught in the love of that woman. If you are not coming in the trap of the Maya, Maya will be providing you very handsome man and you will caught in the love of that man. Then what will be happen? That you will be caught in the very very good words like the divine love, spiritual love, so and so and you are caught in the physical relationship activities and you will become completely blind from inner consciousness. If the, you are not caught in that trap of the Maya, Maya have other traps. Maya have provide you a post, a prominent post in the society. Maybe you become a mayor, you will become a ward member, you will become a you become a minister, you become a any you even you become a president of your society of where you are living. And you are trapped in the Maya. And now you are going to perform your duty and you are completely blind to your spiritual journey. If you are not trapped in anything, now Maya will make your family member against you. If your husband will become a devil like behavior with you or your sons and your daughters or your parents or your any relatives make you unpleasant, make you disturb, then you will not involve in the spiritual practices, you will involve with the problems. So Maya create many type of tensions, many type of adverse conditions, many type of unpleasantness, many type of troubles, many type of insultings, many type of fightings, many type of quarrels, many type of uh, adverse uh, conditions that is comes in the Tamoguna. And Maya also create Rajoguni problems also. He give you some post, he give you some pride, he give you some land, he give you some house, he give you some responsibility, he give you, come, give you some the chance of the governance or the possessiveness or the boss, bossy, Maya make you bossy. And you will be become a boss unnecessarily and then you destroy your chance of awareness or enlightenment. Then after if you are not trapped in this thing, that Maya will make an illusion that you are a very good person, very pure person, very true person, very moral person, very honest person, very religious person. And you will be trapped in this proud. You are a good person. You are better than others. You are a special person. You are a most important person of the world. And even Maya create illusion in your mind that you are, you are a very good meditator, you are a very, very good seeker and this is a goodness make a special pride, proud in you that proud even ready to you to fight your master also and Maya knows Maya knows that you cannot come in the shelter of uh, master because Maya knows even you cannot identify the master so, the all time, the Maya has a different type of weapons. Maya has created a stream of the thoughts, hungerness of the sensory organs, stimulations. Maya create a wrong pride, a wrong goodness. Maya has a several weapons uh, as the Dronacharya has uh, several weapons. If I want to say about the Dronacharya's weapons, uh, there will be the 50, 50 discourses they will be, they can I deliver. 50 discourses. Because the every weapons of the Dronacharya, I can describe. Because the Dronacharya has the fire weapon, water weapon, 
the destruction of the new destructive weapons of nuclear weapons the dronacharya had the the missiles which can destruct the flying uh, space in the sky that is not gossip a space of mahabharata time is found in the afghanistan cave and i read that documentary in the internet my dear friend the dronachary has a many many weapons which is he teach to the pandavas and the kauravas about 498 weapons i know the names of the weapons 498 if you are not believe you read the mahabharata original epic if you do not believe you read the ramayana written by the valmika and you you read the chapter when the when the vishwamitra has given the weapons to the rama so my dear friend these are weapons which are you reading outside but these are also the inner side weapons which have the ego ego have these weapons again the jiva so jiva live in blindness jiva don't know his uh, defense and jiva do not know aware about the different type of the weapons as you knows in this time the good person they do not know about the conspiracy against them making the devils all over the world so the my dear friend jiva has no guru jiva has no krishna so ego easily crush the jiva and ego knows that jiva cannot identify the master or guru so ego knows that i have a very very a nice army and the other persons i have the in the reserve army i have and ego knows that anne ch bahava sura mother the tekt jivita ego knows for me the many many warriors sir they can destroy their life for me you know that the rainy season comes or the sometime the balls of the ice drop on the earth that is called ola and they walls destroy the cultivation on the earth and they destroy themselves but they already destroy the cultivation so the warriors even they destroy themselves but they but they destroy the jiva in the outer side you know now it is a very good example i am giving to you some person doing the societal attack as you see in the south the litte or the terrorist organization in the northeast you are seeing that they covered their body inner side by the bomb and they explode that bomb and they kill many many persons even they they themselves kill the kim kill himself but they killed many many persons so this type the many many warriors has a ego they can destroy your consciousness they they themselves destroy but they will destroy your chance of the human life you will not get the enlightenment you will not get the self realization you will not not get the atma gyana they will destroy your chance of atma gyana so ego is very very confident as the duryodhana was confident in the 
महाभारत माई डियर फ्रेंड सो दुर्योधना इज टेलिंग टू द द्रोणाचार्य अन्य बहवाशूरा मद अर्थे त्वक्त जीवता मद अर्थे मद मीन्स प्राइट मद इन हिंदी मीन्स पेंथाजम मीन्स द मद मीन्स द सडेशन ऑफ इको सो एज यू नोज इन द वर्ल्ड द पर्सन फाइट in the meaningless subject they goes in the court and from the civil court if the decision come against them they go the district court and from the district court the decision comes against them they go the high court sorry the session court and from the session court they got again decision and they goes to the high court and then supreme court but they do not accept their defeat so this this ego is so polluted this jiva this jiva never accept the defeat in this maya he want to conquer the maya he want to search the water in the sandy desert he is running towards the water of desert so my dear friend even he been in supreme court but he lost his life even when i see many many persons they are die in the courts uh, courts uh, dates in the courts they die they spoil their life but after they die decision comes the favor of that persons but what is the benefit of the favor of decision huh? the person already died the person already sacrifices life in the meaningless achievements meaningless so called achievements but even they are win but they are defeated because they lost their chance of enlightenment they lost their chance of freedom from death and birth cycle they lost their chance to knowing inside god they lost their chance of the complete awareness they lost their chance to the supreme achievement of the knowing of god inside they lost their chance to stand and transform it into the existence so my dear friend that is the biggest defeat of a jiva the defeat in the world is okay that cannot be give you too much harm but the defeat of enlightenment is unmatchable defeat but ego knows this thing jiva do not knows but ego knows so ego create a mother ego create a pride ego create a respect a false respect ego create a pentasm ego create a mesmerism in the mind intellect mood and and in this in this jiva and jiva completely misguided by the ego and ego destroying the jiva the pandavas always uh, pandavas always defeated in the real meaning but they are only win because the krishna was with them otherwise they defeated in lakshagra otherwise they defeated in the gambling otherwise they defeated in the uh, forest living and agyatvasa unknown living condition they are all all time they are defeated by the uh, duryodhana and duryodhana enjoying the thorn the territory of the astinapur so your ego not yours that is like duryodhana that is snatching your energy 
your possibility, your probability, your chance, everything he is taking from you, but you are easily giving them, giving that. My dear friend, the ego knows, he has a four senses internal side and ten senses outer, outer side, fourteen major armies he had, the ego had, and ego knows, Annecha Bhava Shura, it means the I, one senses, but I has the several departments of the desires and visions and uh, instruments and interest, only the I has several departments, and ear also have several departments, good hearing, bad hearing, lovely hearing, melodious hearing, hating hearing, abusing hearing, many, many departments ear has. And the many, many departments the nose has. Good smelling, bad smelling, even the person like the smell of the bad organs also. The smelling has the different type department. The testing also have the many, many tests of the foods, continental foods, intercontinental foods, local foods, cultural foods, wild foods, herbal foods, spicy foods, non-spicy foods, different type of the flesh and bones and bone marrows and all many, many type foods. He test he want to enjoy and even he is he can he enjoy lick the very dirty places also of the body he is somebody like the uh, lick the uh, sweet and spacious glands of others like animals so you can understand that every sensi uh, sensory organs has a different, different, uh, many, 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 thousand, thousand type of departments that is called Annecha Bahava Sura Tatte, uh, Annecha Bahava Sura Madarthe Tatte Jivita. They are, why are your eyes is living, your eyes is living for ego. You can see your eyes. Merciful eyes, hating eyes, loving eyes, blessing eyes, investing eyes, doubting eyes. Different type your looks comes from the eye. So my dear friend, the ego knows that he has a many many weapons to kill the possibility of enlightenment of the jiva. And he knows they all can be give up their life. Your eyes give up the life. The Milton says in his sonnet, on his blindness, you can read that sonnet, Milton's sonnet on his blindness. He say, I have no regret that my eyesight has gone. I have used these eyes in the literary work more and more as I can do. So there is no any regret of any sensory organs. The jiva is too foolish person. He uses sensory organs, eyes, nose and all the things in the meaningless things. But he is proud. He has proud. Milton K. I have proud on my eyes. He never see the master, enlightened master. He never awaken. He never do the meditation. He, were no, he never knows the internal uh, uh, presence of existence. But he proud on eyes. If you <coughs> meet to any the music uh, authority or the singer, he will say, Oh, I have proud that I hear so type of many many musicians, many many instruments, I went in the many many musical concert, I am very lucky person, but he is not lucky, because he is completely blind in the side of enlightenment. 
as well as if you meet to any chef international chef he will tell you oh i am very very lucky person i have touch the asian continental food when in every region of the asia mongolia china afghani pakistani indian malvi mid south indians karnatic kerala and the bengali and assamia and the other bangladeshi and the he say i taste the all countries food even in european in every country i taste the german test of food the italian test of food and so on and he will feel pride ah oh, i am very lucky person but he do not knows he was killing by his uh, test sensory organ his possibility is destroy his he has destroyed his chance of awakening and enlightenment and freedom from death and birth cycle he do not know so that's why i describe a one by one sensory organs and they are ten organs somebody say i travel all over the world on my feet my feet is very lucky every country's land i put my feet on every country land and somebody say oh what are you i go i went on the moon i am the neil armstrong i am elvin elden this type of ego ego makes this type so my dear friend in every sensory organs they have pride somebody say oh what you saying i am shaking my hand with every person every type of countryman and i will not tell about a one sensory organs that they, they, the, that organ used for the devotees persons so the maya this blindness this ego has a अन्यपन they can use they can throw they can shoot they can push they can penetrate in the jeeva's possibilities killing my dear friend they are so much painful weapons if a one weapon is struck you then you will go millions of the birth the sexually was walking on the street and he saw the dogs was meeting each other very freely very nicely they are licking each other they are loving each other they, they are very freedom for meeting the sexually think oh my god um, this these dogs are better than me i am human but i do not get any wife yet so the sick chili do not know the maya create a illusion in the mind of the sick chili and sick chili thinking the human life is not better in the comparison of the dog's life so he goes in the dog's life in the next birth this type of weapons use on your consciousness and make your consciousness push in the lower category life my dear friend this is the conspiracy of the ego this is the trapping of the ego and this is the network of the ego uh, this is the illusion of the ego uh, this is the effective adverse fighting of o ego against you so nana shastra praharana or sarve yuddha visharada and they are all expertise in the battle against your possibility 
they they knows how to kill your possibility they knows how to destroy your chance they knows how to push you in unpleasant birth and death cycle they knows that what you want and what they must do against you they are very expert persons in persons not i am telling the internal forces of supporters of the ego supporters of the ego my dear friend that's why the every person in, in consciousness the many many lacks and the booms they have many many lacks and the booms they have my dear friend even the spiritual practices nurse even the divine persons they do not know about the peace when the morning i awake and when the morning you awake in the uh, in this life you see when the morning you awake you see in the morning in the 4:00 uh, o'clock 4:30 o'clock somebody is calling ah somebody is um, playing music uh, songs somebody is uh, is telling loudly the different type of uh, the songs and somebody is ringing the bells and going in the streets so, so they do not know they don't they do not know the how to earn the peace inside they all the spiritual and divine practices they are pushing the jiva outside and they are doing the creation of the unpleasantness in the name of the pleasantness they are creating the unpeacefulness in the name of peacefulness and that's why the ego and that's why the maya is trapping that person in this way the person think oh my sound must be louder than louder than others and why my my sound is not low so the they compete each other to making a sound pollution in the name of the religion in the name of the divinity and spirituality that is your real condition and that is the trap of maya that is the trap of ego that is the form of ego that is also the weapon of ego that is also a weapon of ego they do not know they do not want to know they know they have no any introduction with the enlightenment or the real knowledge of liberation they never use the moan the silence they they every ever time every time use the pollution of the sound making by the name of reason so the ego is quite confident that he will be ego knows that he will be and uh, and the jiva will lose the chance this mahabharata battle uh, this mahabharata battle my dear friend please excuse me you are lost every birth in every birth you are losing that is the miraculous coincident that arjun get the krishna otherwise if the arjun not get the krishna arjun has never been this mahavarta battle so the seeker if not get the enlightened master he cannot win this internal battle of the mahabharata unfortunately the seeker do not knows who is the right guru and who is the wrong guru and the deviator and misguider and misinterpreter they are number of millions so how can seeker stay with the sat guru that is very fortunate person there is a very devotee person there is a very loving person only can stay with the sat guru my dear friend he knows he knows ki bhavan bhishma and others they are only the names but the ego has a hidden very big army or he is so 
so the ego is a very very proudy and very very uh, he is confident so he know, he know that jiva will not do anything in the path of his welfare and ego will push him anyhow in the in the conspiracy in the bad condition of the death and birth cycle because ego knows that he have some immortal type warriors also the bhishma baje a very good power that is chamrtyu when he desire when he die otherwise not die the many many arrows shoot the bhishma's body but bhishma never die by the arrows of the arjuna he die by his own will so the duryodhana ego knows that the krupacharya cannot die without in his will so the he told the krishna make a trick and the yudhishthira told aswasthama hata because the name of aswasthama there was an elephant was killed and krupachari think my elonson was killed so he was died in the he give up the uh, battle by this trick but you have no krishna you cannot conquer the krupacharya you have not conquered the vishma because you do not know the trick of shikhandi you do not know so my dear friend the ego knows the duryodhan knows that uh, the jiva will not do anything and he will be surely defeated but duryodhan also because he is ego and ego always blind he ego is the son of the blind dhritarashtra agya duryodhan do not know about any satguru so when the duryodhan went to the krishna and duryodhan chose the army duryodhan not chose the krishna but arjun chose the krishna why arjun chose the krishna arjun do not know that krishna was in light and person but arjun loves the krishna so arjun chose the krishna for a driving his cart so my dear friend after 700 verses of the gita arjun knows the krishna krishna is sachidananda parmatma otherwise arjun do not know that krishna is sachidananda parmatma arjun chose the krishna and krishna defend the arjuna and krishna play the game behind the curtain behind the curtain the krishna krishna's mind was winner and he killed the all the barriers one by one one by one of the duryodhana's favor and you know duryodhan also killed by the krishna's teachings otherwise duryodhan cannot killed by the bhima so my dear friend this is a very very important uh, Uh, verse of this uh, Gita. This verse is inspiring, uh, inspiring you. This verse, verse is giving you the teaching. You must uh, accept the Sadguru. Otherwise, you will never win this battle of the Mahabharata, internal Mahabharata. Because the Jiva is the puppies. of the maya avidya and you know the children scare the puppy and they put the belt in the neck and they make the puppy pet so the maya make all the jiva pet and so my dear friend do not be the puppy of the maya and uh, always be try to enlightenment try to awareness try to come out from the illusion of the maya and uh, you you will not 
identify the master but master can identify you if a lightened master comes to you and if lightened master in request to you please come to me I will give you complete freedom and you see that lightened master is not giving you the fake type of divine practices and enlightened master is giving you the real teachings and giving you the peace giving you the right direction of meditation not teaching you concentration not teaching you chanting not involving you in the other worldly activities not involving you you in the doer always involving you in the seer witness sakshi that is right enlightened master my dear friend I request uh, all of you that uh, I am teaching a very special, miraculous and very very uh, nice meditation. The name of meditation is the meditation of awareness sakshi. If you do this meditation only four or five months, honestly seventy minutes per day, in my directives and, and my instructions and my loving shelter with you, my dear friend, you will be feel that after five months you will become the tension free and you will become the worried less you will become the cool and calm and peaceful person because there is no dark there is surely light there is light there dark cannot be stained so if you will become the peaceful there is no tension if you become the aware there will not come any tension. My dear friends, when there is no tension, there is no worry, there is no any type of uh, negativities, then you will sure and certainly never caught in the diseases which is created by the tension, the diabetes, the blood pressure, the angina, the sugar, the Mm, sleeping sickness, the sleeping disorder, the organ failure, the unnecessary weakness, the unnecessary irritation, you will not feel this type. And you will become a complete physically healthy person. Then what will be happen? Then you, not only you enjoy the good health, but you can save your good money also. Nowadays you are sacrificing your money to the doctors and the hospitals unnecessarily because your life is full of tension and worry. My dear friend, it is not a, a small achievement of meditation. It is a biggest achievement that you will become the worried less, tensionless person by the meditation of awareness sakshi. Second thing is that when you can save yourself from physical diseases, your sternum will not cut, your heart will not open, your mind will not open, you, you have not faced in the operation theatres and the post-operation care and pre-operation care and medicines, medical stores and diagnosis center, you can save a lot of money for your family because that money you earn by your whole life enthusiasm and hard labor why are you giving this money unnecessarily and why are you taking the pain and unhappiness and the tense and the cutting in your body you do this meditation you will save second thing is that if you do this meditation then you can see every mental condition which is coming in your brain the phobia come you can see the phobia and you can save yourself from phobia because you know the phobia is hypothetical now. The mania come, you can see the mania and rigidness of the brain. You cannot become the ill in the mania. You cannot destroy your mental power by unnecessary tension. So you cannot court in the schizophrenia and meningenia and many many mental diseases so you will not go in the mental asylum and you will not go to the psychiatrist and you will not go to the mental hospitals and you will never be depressed and you will never be become mad this is the biggest benefit of meditation of awareness such so you can save a lot of money again by the treatment of the medical hospitals and the mental hospitals and third thing is that 
if you do this meditation you can see the coming anger inside of you the irritation which is coming inside of you you can see you can see the unnecessary possessiveness and that is not get and you are become angry so you can you can conquer your anger you can save yourself from anger you can detach your consciousness from anger and then you will not involved in the cutting murder attempt to the murder killing fighting you can not use the weapons against anyone and even can not use weapon on you so my dear friend if you can manage by this anger by this meditation that is not a small achievement and in this uh, in this uh, subject i want to tell you when you will do this meditation your consciousness will become very keen and the grid is coming you can see the grid you cannot involve any economic crime you will not take any bribery you will not talk, take any black money you will not involve in the conspiracy against your nation against your society against your family you will not become any you will not do any theft any cheating anything in the field of economic economic crime third thing i want to say if you do this meditation and your awareness become day to day keen then you can see the lust inside and you can save yourself to touch him with lust you will detach from lust and lust cannot make you like a madman you will not abuse any woman you will not do any attack on women you will not insult any women or you never involve in the sexual crime with the women so my dear friend our sisters our daughters our mothers our uh, family members the goddesses the women they will become very safe secure and happy and if they will become very safe secure and happy then your family will be become very safe secure and happy because they will create a very glorious blossoming environment in your family and then your family will become a, a very nice garden like eden garden like a heaven and these small heavens they will make all society a big happen heaven and the big heaven makes your nation a very good loving heavenly atmosphere and heavenly atmosphere all the nation they will not fight each other so the wars will abolish so the fighting will be abolished from two nations or other nations and world war will never happen so they they can solve all the problems on the negotiation table and they can solve all the problems there are no fear in the world there is no terror in the world there is no unfortunate thing in the world so we have no need the huge establishment of army we have no food but we as we are purchasing the bombs how unfortunate things the person in dying in the africa without food and you are per pay purchasing a bomb of 1000 million dollars cost so there is no need atomic bomb though there is no need the hydrogen bomb there is no need of uh, nuclear bombs there is no need of war heads there is no need of the fighter jets there is no need of the submarines and the big ships like a city there is no need there only need that mutual love mutual understanding and mutual mutual brotherhood so i decide myself that i will spread this meditation all over the world by the sake of the mankind and i name my mission that is the mission is world peace by meditation and my instrument of love is meditation of awareness this is my instrument of love my meditation is the meditation of supreme highest spiritual love awareness my dear friend this meditation is not belongs to any religion it is not for hindus muslim sikh isai parsi yahudi or any religion it is a like a science invention as you invent the uh, science instruments like the refrigerator pen and uh, you invent the um, 
motorcycles, cycles, and many many gadgets. You invent the mobile phones. So I invent this meditation. I not invent. Why I I bring this meditation from my ancient masters. So my dear friend, take this meditation as a non-religious and non-caste and non-national all the nations can do this meditation and your all religions they are failed to change the humanity if they are success then how the violence on this world so lot how the person is so corrupt how the person is non-pleasant how a person is so much angry so he can put the bombs in body and blast and kill innocent person your religions is completely fail your yoga is completely fail. Yoga can only tone up your body. He is like exercise like gym. But this meditation is a complete welfare meditation. If you, I guarantee you do not do any yoga. You do not do any exercise. You only do this meditation. You the automatically the pranayams will come and go and automatically the physical exercise uh, the, they will be performed by your body and as want as your need the, your body will be uh, do and my dear friend this is the highest awareness of living living huh? so please accept this meditation come to me learn this meditation I am giving this meditation without any cost I am giving this technique without any cost because this is the service of the God. This is the service of existence. Or I want to say, if you do not believe in the God, then also you come. Because I am very happy that you do not believe. Believe is blindness and knowing is awaken. Thank you very much. Love you very much. And please subscribe my channel on YouTube. Swami Satchidanand. Thank you.